Hey everyone, Dr. Josh Matson here with Infinity Chiropractic Center. Uh, I'm going to talk about ADHD and why low muscle tone goes hand in hand with a lot of these kids. Um, so, kind of first and foremost, kids that have attention issues, a lot, your long-term attentional networks typically sit on the right side of your brain. Which, I'm sorry if the video is backwards, but they typically sit on the right side of your brain. And what helps to develop the right side of the brain is um, good gross motor development, good muscle tone development. Muscle spindles and muscle tone is what activates the right side of the brain, uh, which is where all, where all your attentional networks um, are. And that really develops in the first couple of years of life as you're really developing that right side of your brain. Um, so why uh, that's a big reason why kids that have attention issues they also have low muscle tone. The low muscle tone doesn't give them good feedback and good information to the right side of the brain for it to grow and for it to develop efficiently. Um, so if you have a kid that has low muscle tone, I'm gonna give you um, some things to look at to see like, or that has attention issues, how you know if they have low muscle tone. Things you look for. Um, what you're gonna look for is you're gonna, you can have them sit down, you can do whatever, but what you're gonna see in them is they're gonna have a rounded posture. They're gonna be pulled forward like this. Their shoulders are gonna be pulled forward and their head's gonna come out like this. The reason why is because they don't have good muscle tone in their back to give them the ability to sit up straight. Um, what you're gonna see when they stand up in a lot of the kids is you're gonna see their knees kind of coming in like this. You're gonna see their toes start to point in when they walk and you're gonna see them almost look floppy. Uh, hypotonia is a floppiness to them so when they walk it's it's almost kind of like they're just their arms just flop all over the place and they don't have good tone um, that's those are a couple of good things that you can look at you can look at them from the side and you can look for a rounded posture um, the most consistent comorbid condition that comes with uh, all neurodevelopmental disorders and ADHD being one of those autism being another one um, dyslexia learning disabilities neurodevelopmental disorders is uh, abnormal posture, gait, and muscle tone. And the reason why is because muscle tone helps to build the brain. So if you don't have good muscle tone, you can't build the right side of your brain. Therefore, you can't uh, develop the, uh, the attentional networks that are on that side of the brain. And we're going to talk a lot more in my workshop coming up about why they develop this abnormal posture, why they don't have develop good muscle tone. A lot of it has to do with their early infantile development with primitive reflexes and, uh, and how they learn to move in the first years of life. So in my workshop, I'm gonna talk a ton about that. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know, but I hope to see you guys at the workshop here next Wednesday, and I'll put a link to that below. Have an awesome day.